it was so specific. It was like, you know, David's black and, you know, the, um, you know, um, Tracy's character is, is written that way. And I was like, that's different. I've never experienced that before. So it was, I was immediately interested and I was like, this would be fun, but like, no one's going to cast me because I'm not a singer. <laughs> so um, yeah, I auditioned and I auditioned and I really wanted it. And then I didn't hear anything and it was a long process. And eventually I got the part and I was, I was sitting at dinner doing press and I was so excited. I almost wanted to cry because <laughs> the Beyonce doc just came out, Homecoming came out and I was like, pop star, yes. The process with Rodney Jerkins, who was our producer, um, Dark Child, was our producer. It was was really helped me kind of find David's voice and even my own voice. Um, Tracy says it best. I, she was like, sometimes it feels like the the little children inside of us. You know, she says the little girl inside of me is like screaming like yes, because you know my parents are musicians. Musicians. I come from New Orleans. So my dad's a jazz saxophonist and my mom's a jazz vocalist. And so music has been in my my life and my family. I played jazz piano and trumpet. But like singing for real was like a dream of mine, but it, I couldn't really, I didn't get a chance to do it. It didn't really work out for me. So to, to kind of find, to do that with Rodney, who's a professional and to kind of encourage me and empower me and, 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 and show me all these other artists and all these tools to kind of just let it all out was, was freeing, honestly. She wants the world to know that she's stronger than she's ever been. And it was, it was so personal to her and even me. And we kind of shared this similar journey with like parents being musicians. And, you know, I mean, her parents are very, very successful musicians, you know, my, my, you know, not the same, but, you know, I respect them. They're great. But to to kind of take that and we've we've, we've kind of took, took a different route and, and, and started acting and that became our our outlet, our 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 thing that made us us to, to experience this is, is different. It's very vulnerable. and. It was, it was nice to do that together because we just kind of fed off of each other. Because I played jazz piano and trumpet, it did give me a little bit of background into like what, you know, music and, and what that process is like and creating. And I did, like I recorded some songs like the Marcellus Family and like I've been in the studio before, but it was, it's just not the same when, you know, you have someone as great as they are doing something very specific and they're there to kind of guide you and you know that like this is not about you. Whereas I'm supposed to be like an actual artist who's confident or coming into his confidence about who he is and writing songs. It was just, it was very specific, but it, it gave me the, the understanding of the world. And I could kind of take these references and pulls from my, my life growing up as a kid and, and reference, you know, I, I took, a, I watched a lot of videos as well of like Anderson Pack and The Young Bridges and Daniel Caesar and um, Gary Clark Jr. And like, these were like those four guys that I kind of just pulled from. So even understanding their life and like the, the things that influenced them and their background. And, and, you know, for Daniel Caesar, it was like growing up in the church and I had that reference to kind of personalize for myself. So it was all these small little details that, um, that kind of worked out for me coming from the family I did. I really loved chemistry. Uh, it's, this, it's the song I play for Maggie in the car, when, at my house when she comes to my party and then she eventually remixes it in the car and the, the remix is so good and the song itself is so good. And I wish I could remember who wrote it, but it's, it's just like, it's like my type of song. It, I don't know, it's, it's really sexy and kind of cool, but like kind of got a soulful vibe. But, and track eight is fun. And there's a song that didn't make the movie that's so good. This all, honestly, all the songs were, they're just good writers. And Rodney, Rodney, man. I'm not a comedian, so I'm like, I do indie drama. So to be on a set with like Nisha, who's done almost every comedy sitcom or show that we love and her expertise and her knowledge and her love for the craft is amazing. So it's like, she's so giving and so patient with me to be with Tracy, who is a comedic genius actually. And, and see how compassionate and patient she is with me as well. It's just to watch all of that happen and to see them kind of take Dakota, who is just a chameleon and just to kind of work with Tracy and, and Nisha and effortlessly we all just kind of come in and, and we just flow and it's just nice to watch and it's an experience I've never had before and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm just grateful that I got to be a part of it so I mean Ali and Tim Bevan and all those guys too like the fact that they trusted me to do this is, is incredible and I'm, I'm just grateful.